Welcome to the CFA Connections Plain Talk series. This is a special five-part video series on how to become a corporate flight attendant. Starting with a complete overview on how to navigate the CFA Connections platform pages, start here and how to become a CFA. This is a complimentary and robust step-by-step -step guide on how to start your career as a corporate flight attendant. We include numerous resources, training and career development programs, scholarship opportunities, mentorship programs, and more. In the other videos in this series, I have one-on-one -on -one conversations with corporate flight attendants, and we discuss how they became corporate flight attendants, as well as what they wish they had known when starting their careers. These are all not to miss discussions. Let's get started. The CFA Connection is the most comprehensive resource sharing and learning platform for corporate cabin crew members. All of these resources, learning tools, and documents are all provided complimentary. In this video, we're focusing on two of the website pages, which go hand in hand and are featured under the Become a CFA menu tab. Start here and how to become a corporate flight attendant. First, start here. If you're interested in becoming a corporate flight attendant and are either transitioning from the commercial airlines or maybe the Air Force, or you have no previous aviation experience, you should start here. First, a reality check. If your response as to why you want to become a corporate flight attendant is, because I love to travel, well, we have a reality check for you. Yes, we travel the world and often stay in amazing locations and hotels. Yes, we fly on luxurious business jets, serving the mega rich and famous. And we do all of this while jet lagged, sleep deprived, stressed, and sometimes overwhelmed because our duties rarely end once we arrive at our destinations. Therefore, if you're choosing this career for the glamorous lifestyle, think again. It's very hard work, and although the reward can be sweet, the reality is we are the servants to the rich and famous. We're not actually the rich and famous. Corporate cabin crew members' responsibilities often expand beyond providing a VIP in-flight experience for our clients. We often wear many hats in this industry. Personal shopper, nanny, entertainment and activities director, greeter, chef, caterer, food safety expert, menu planner, troubleshooter, dietary technician, cleaner, which includes the toilets, launderer, liaison, concierge, therapist, secretary, travel coordinator, baggage handler, pet sitter, babysitter, security guard, emergency procedure specialist, first aid provider. The list is truly endless. This is a unique and specialized career and there is no singular job description. Every flight operation or private owner operates differently and to their own tune. You may enjoy a long-lasting career as a freelancer or independent contractor or as a full-time employee. Everyone has their preference and there are pros and cons with each option. Flexibility and adaptability are mandatory for on-the-job requirements. You will be away from home for days, weeks, or longer, and this is a necessary sacrifice and adjustment if you're going to be successful in business aviation. Unlike the commercial airlines, corporate and business aviation flight schedules are not under any on-time performance pressures. This industry is extremely unpredictable, fluid and ever-changing on a moment's notice. We, as cabin crew members, are working and flying on our passenger schedules, no one else's, period. You may be wondering, what is the percentage of actively working corporate flight attendants? The short answer is, we have no idea, none. There are too many variables that come into play in order to track this in our industry. There are full-time, part-time, and contract crew members. There are numerous training vendors, plus many companies conduct their own in-house training. Since there are no regulatory guidelines and quote-unquote certifications to track, we simply don't know. 
do I need to pay for my own cabin safety training? The answer to this most likely is yes. Acquiring cabin safety training specific to business aviation is typically required and highly recommended. This is also a self-finance investment and it's a big investment. Therefore, selecting the training vendor that is the best fit for you, your region, and has the recognition factor is critical to your success. These training programs cost anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000 US for the cabin safety training, plus your travel, lodging, and meal expenses. If you're looking to transition from the commercial airline world, your training does not transfer. These are completely different entities and regulatory oversights. The only thing they have in common is aviation. In the United States, commercial airlines are ruled under FAR 121 regulations. And business aviation falls under FAR 91 for private owner operations, 91K which is the fractional operations like net jets and flex jet, 135 which is charter like an air taxi for hire and 125 regulations which are for the large aircraft transport. Outside of the United States an attestation or other specifics are most likely required. It's best to contact the vendors in your region for more details on the requirements and specifics. What are my chances for success once I'm trained? Well that's really up to you. It's proven that your opportunities increase by following these provided recommendations, connecting with other corporate flight attendants, and being properly trained. Once you have obtained the necessary tools, then you need to network. Your new career is not automatically handed to you just because you completed your training. This is why we recommend, in addition to your cabin safety training, you seek a mentor and or professional career training and coaching program because there are countless unknowns in this career field and navigating it alone can be quite confusing and you want to avoid making any missteps right out of the gate. Are you still interested? Then let's proceed. You need to do your research. If you're not that familiar with this industry, we have provided you with some informational videos on business aviation, and we've also included some business jet virtual tours, so you have an idea of what type of aircraft we work on as a point of visual reference. We've also included a terminology reference guide, which lists a few of the most commonly used industry acronyms, terms, and lingo you may not understand while watching or listening to various videos or podcasts as you do your research. There are numerous resources available to you through social media. There are Facebook groups you should join, which are highly interactive, where you can ask questions and also conduct searches within these groups for past subject matter discussions. We showcase CFA hosted sites where corporate flight attendants have multiple platforms on social media, including YouTube channels, blogs, websites, and podcasts. And there are specific YouTube channels specializing in how to become a corporate flight attendant, which are linked here. Both of these pages are constantly updated. So what you're seeing here in this video may have already changed, so it's best to follow the website. Again, do your research. Now, let's go to page two, how to become a corporate flight attendant. Okay, the how to become a corporate flight attendant page. This is your step-by-step -step guide detailing everything you need to know and do in order to successfully begin your career. The first section on this page are video shorts of corporate flight attendants having real talk reflecting back on what they wish they had known when they were starting their own careers. These are embedded videos on this platform page and not featured on YouTube, so you only can view these here. These CFAs discuss the various subjects such as the importance of doing research on training before committing to any training company. 
the power of networking, the importance of having a mentor, the secret of success is being yourself. For those transitioning from the airlines, knowing this process can be quite humbling because they are completely different career fields. This career requires a lot of patience when starting out. There are no guarantees of when and if you will find success as a corporate flight attendant and more. I highly recommend you watch every single one of these video shorts before continuing on this resource page. We have a page directory with links to all the provided sections for easy navigation as you revisit this page. By the way, these can be accomplished in any order, but some of these definitely should be prioritized over others. We have finding a mentor, membership organizations, scholarship opportunities, cabin safety training, career coaching preparedness and enhancement programs, soft skills, which are service and etiquette types of training and culinary training, food safety certification training, crew staffing companies, networking opportunities, and recommended links. Okay, find a mentor. Critically important when starting your career as a corporate flight attendant. Now, there are mentors and then there are mentorship programs. Know the difference. We cover this in detail on the mentorship page of this platform, which is linked here. A mentor is an experienced professional who volunteers their time to talk with you one-on-one -on -one as you need guidance throughout the beginning and the early years of your career. Mentorship programs, they basically fall into two separate categories. A complementary mentorship program such as Women in Corporate Aviation and Flight Ally, these two organizations will match or assign you with a mentor who is in their volunteer system. Then there are mentorship programs, which are a paid tuition. These are hosted by experienced corporate flight attendants who are providing additional services which go beyond mentoring. They typically have additional online training, resume and interview techniques and services, and or coaching. So these are more of a bundle of services in addition to just mentoring. Industry associations to join as a member. MBAA, the National Business Aviation Association, and WCA, the Women in Corporate Aviation. There are fees associated with these memberships and they both include valuable benefits to members. Both of these nonprofit organizations are highly recommended to join and they are both detailed in this section. And yes, men can join WCA. Scholarship programs. Both MBAA and WCA offer annual scholarship programs. They both provide training and monetary scholarships offered by various donor companies. MBAA scholarship program is annually and WCA has spring and fall scholarship programs. Both of these programs are highly recommended to apply. Cabin safety training. We have provided all the training vendors and their website links who offer cabin safety training which is required by the majority of flight operations and again is a paid tuition. So do your research before selecting which company best fits your needs. Career coaching, preparedness and enhancement programs. We have provided all the vendors and their website links who offer various services for career and professional development. Soft Skills and Culinary Training. Featured are all training vendors and their website links who provide in-flight service, etiquette, silver service, and culinary training. Food Safety Certification. Here you will find the following companies who provide food safety certification training and all of these vendor programs are online courses. Crew Staffing Companies. We've listed the crew staffing agencies located globally. Now, Typically, when you're new to industry, relying on a staffing agency to get you work is really not your best option, as they are typically under a contractual agreements with their clients to provide experienced crew members. Now, we've listed these because, especially in this industry, never say never. Network, network, network. Networking is a vital tool to find success in this industry so you can connect in person with your peers and aviation leaders. 
featured are the best annual events for networking opportunities for cabin crew. And resource links. This section features several links to blogs, articles, and sites to assist you with your research and career success. As you can see, this career has many layers and specialty requirements. Are you required to do all these soft skills training programs in addition to obtaining your cabin safety training? Well, it really depends on which training vendor you choose, what your skill sets are, and also what the flight operations are requiring. This is where a mentor can help you navigate through all of this and guide you in making the best decision for you because all of these are financial investments, big investments. Now, is this career for everyone? No. Is this career easy? No. Is this career rewarding? Absolutely. If this is the career you are seeking, then again, do your research and find a mentor. If you follow these guidelines, you still have no guarantees of finding success, but your chances have significantly increased. Oh,